Hello everyone, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Thank you for joining me in another recipe. Today I'll be showing you how to make an easy baked ziti recipe with few simple ingredients. In a large saucepan, heat up olive oil over medium heat. Add chopped onions and cook for 4 minutes or until fragrant. After that, add minced garlic and cook that for a minute. Once garlic is fragrant, go in with ground beef. Try breaking up the larger chunks of the meat with a spatula and keep cooking until the meat is nice and brown and is no longer pink. This baked ziti recipe is made with ground beef. However, you can make your baked ziti with sausage, ground pork or chicken. You can now add tomato paste to the meat followed with marinara sauce. Once you have a really nice and thick sauce just like this one, begin seasoning it with black pepper, smoked paprika, salt, and stir to combine nicely. Add in your beef stock or water and stir again until everything is well incorporated. Turn the heat down to low, place the lid over the pot and continue to simmer the meat sauce for about 10 to 15 minutes until the meat is cooked and the sauce has thicken up slightly. While the sauce is simmering, Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Add 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of olive oil, and your ziti pasta. Cook the pasta according to the package instruction. It should take about 7 to 8 minutes to get ready. Finally, season the sauce with some red chili flakes if you like it spicy and also garnish with some chopped basil. Stir and remove the sauce from heat. The pasta should have been ready by now. Once it is slightly cooked, drain it through a colander and set aside. It's now time to assemble everything in a baking dish. Spread about 2 heaping spoons of the meat sauce in the bottom of your baking dish and spread it out evenly. Make sure your oven is preheated to 370 degrees Fahrenheit at this point. Stir in 1 cup of ricotta cheese into the remaining meat sauce and slightly mix to incorporate. Add the drained pasta and mix until well combined with the meat sauce. Just so that you know, you can still make your baked ziti without ricotta cheese. Pour the pasta and the meat mixture into a baking dish and sprinkle about half cup of grated parmesan cheese and half part of mozzarella cheese and then spread it out evenly to cover the top of the pasta You can then follow this with another layer of the pasta and meat sauce over the top to form the second layer. Again, sprinkle the remaining half 
parts of mozzarella cheese and another half cup of grated parmesan cheese over the top now that you are done assembling all this pop your pasta into the preheated oven and bake for 25 minutes or until the cheese is melted and bubbly on the surface and this delicious baked ziti is out of the oven i'm loving this already <laughs> i can just wait to have a taste of this you can allow your baked ziti to stand for five minutes and finally garnish it with chopped basil or parsley before serving this is my favorite moment it's time to taste this guys just look at this it is creamy flavorful and cheesy baked ziti recipe let me know your thoughts in the comments below i hope you liked the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and share with your loved ones and if you are just stopping by on this channel please try and subscribe and also click on the bell icon to keep you posted see you next time bye